Hi, it's Johnny. This is Lana Del Rey, Million Dollar Man, live at the iTunes Festival, London, 2012. On Patreon, I've been uploading weekly Lana reactions for the last couple of months. The most recent one is two versions of Fine China, that great unreleased song. Last week I did the video to Fuck It, I Love You, The Greatest. Coming soon, the Tropico short movie, the Ride EP, and then in June, a full concert. Haven't decided yet. Please join up, $3 a month. Join up, vote. Request anything you want. Let's get it done. Okay, on to the performance. More reverb in my ear. Always more reverb. Um, However you are, wherever you are. No. Such a great one. I was going to say one of my favourites off the album, but that makes me feel bad for the other songs. Brilliant, I love it, absolutely love it. I think the same people that thought that performance of Born to Die, the jazz cafe that I did a few weeks ago, same people that thought that was crap, probably not gonna like this one very much either. It's the same kind of vocal, isn't it? Very chance taking, very risky. It's a bit of a high wire act. I like it, I like that, that quality in a performer. I mean, that's a big venue. I think, what was this, Coco or the Roundhouse or something, I can't remember which one. She's singing this and not trying to nail it, if you know what I mean. She's trying to get the feel of it, and that's what she's got. You're brilliant. You look like a million dollar man. You got that world up. But baby, at what price? You know it's something so strange, and it's hard. Sounds like Nico there. So when you're going crazy, just grab me and then take me. I would follow you down, down, down. Like a clown.
So why is my heart Okay, how long do you want this reaction video to be? Because I think I can talk for quite a long time about this one. Before I forget, the context of me saying she sounds like Nico, she was a solo artist on the Velvet Underground's first album as well. And there's a song called I'll Be Your Mirror, where she says something, she's German by the way, so she says something like, um, something about being a clown, but she says clown, like that. It just sounds, it, it rhymes with how Lana sang the word down. So, so that was that. Even people that don't like this, and I can't imagine there's many actually, because I mean, it was fairly stunning. But even if that wasn't your thing, I bet there's one phrase or a couple of lines in there where you think, that's some of the best singing I've heard for a while. Even if you don't like the rest. Even if you don't like the fact that it's not all in one style, it's just seemingly random. I'm, I'm sure it's not, but seemingly, just as the mood takes her line by line, is how you're going to get it delivered to you. I thought that was great. She was whispering and croaking at times. Other times it was quite playful. There were some very high runs. There was insane power at times. You know, she dug deep to give you the emotion of that one. It's an interesting song. Apparently the lyrics are to do with the fact that she was going out with some guy who seemed like the perfect guy to everyone and to her too. And who's running some kind of like illegal computing software business or something. He was doing something basically. He was in too deep in some business he was running. And, you know, that consumed him or something like that. I think I just read it on Lyrics Genius, actually. I used to um, I used to think I should have a set of rules for the channel. And one of them would be, I will never read to you from song meanings. But um, I've almost just done that there. So, interesting story behind the song, if that's true. You know, that doesn't seem like the one that would be the most emotional song to her. But the way she delivered that was was crazy. The amount of different styles she used there was crazy. And she had the audience absolutely in the palm of her hand. There'll be people there that would just go to see, you know, Next Big Thing, Lana Del Rey, London, Saturday Night. Might not have been expecting that. And English crowds are notoriously loud, rowdy, especially if something's a bit boring to them. They will make their feelings known. They'll be talking, there'll be random heckles at quiet bits. None of that. None of that. So good. She absolutely had them. That was great. Um, so enough talking. Let's have a listen to a bit of it again. I follow you down, Shout out to the pianist as well. Great accompaniment. So when you're going crazy, there he is. That's the man. Grab me and then take me. I would follow you down, down, down. Anywhere, anywhere. It's one for the money. I've really heard something that good. Who else sings like that? There's so much in there. And what I love is that she's not using those different styles and techniques to hide the emotion. She's using them to bring out the emotion, to heighten what's going on. It kind of makes everything seem more dramatic, um, involves you in it. It's like it's actually happening to her on stage. It's like that song is coming out of her. It's not a, a rehearsed performance. So great. Recommend me some more live performances, please. Let's keep it early, 2011, 2012. First couple of albums, you know, around the Born to Die Paradise period. That'd be really good. Check out Patreon. There's the uh, Born to Die Reaction full album. There's the most recent album. We've got Paradise and Tropico coming soon. Fuck It, I Love You, Greatest is already on there. The Greatest is one of my favourite songs of all time, basically. 
Um, Fine China just did that just now. That's amazing. So as you can tell, I'm taking any requests. I'm going anywhere with it. I think she's um, she's one of a kind. I just want to hear everything she's ever done. So um, if you'll stay with me on that journey, you'll see it all. Thanks a lot. Bye. The Earth shall...